morning, guys. Today is Monday, the eighth of April. It is my last week here in Hangzhou before I go to a new family. I'm just waiting on the agency to hurry up and book my ticket to Hong Kong so I can do my visa refreshing. So this morning I got up around 6:45. I got ready, and then the dog was pestering me to go for a walk. So we came down around seven, went for about ten minute walk, went up and had my breakfast. Now it's 7:39, and we we're gonna go drop the kids off. I was gonna go with them, but we don't have the normal car because someone borrowed it. So we had to go in the Bentley, and we all couldn't fit. Plus. Uh, the nanny was going out and the teacher's not here. The kids didn't want, the boy didn't want me to go along so I am now going out and it's only like 7.39 so I have like the whole day to go explore but I forgot my money. I've only got like 70 something dollars so don't know where I'll go but I might go bike riding and just enjoy my last week here in Hangzhou. And today I didn't have to tell anyone I was going out because the nanny was like if you want to go out and play just go out. So usually I always tell like the teacher or when I went to Westlake I told the nanny, when I went to help my friend I told the grandpa. One time on a Wednesday no one was home so I messaged the grandpa and then the following day I messaged him because he asked me if I wanted to go out but I messaged him and then I just left. So, so far no luck finding a free bike and I said I just went in the subway but I couldn't find the station I needed so I'm going to go to a different subway station. Yay! So today I'm going to contact the agency and ask them what's going on. But my ticket, because it's getting ridiculous, I'm supposed to leave next week and I really just want to know because I have to let this current host family know so they can drop me off at the airport. And also I need to let my friend in Hong Kong know so she can pick me up on the other side in Hong Kong. Uh, I can't believe three months is almost over. It couldn't come quick enough really, this family. Uh, I say they're nice, but you know, it's just things I don't really agree with. So, just now I went to unlock a bike and I was saying one RMB and I don't know if it was a free one. So I quickly locked it again because usually if it charges you, it would say this is not a red packet. Do you wish to continue? But it didn't say that. So now I'm just going to keep on walking till I either find a metro or a a uh, free bike because usually the red packet ones uh, or they say this is a red packet but that one didn't say anything and the map on my bike is really really confusing sometimes but I've got a lot of time so yeah I think I might go to a museum today the museum doesn't open till 9 so still got time okay. pretty sure this is a free one it matches up with the map I'll just double check the number yeah, the other one wasn't free because it was one RMB for 30 minutes. If it's free, it says free for two hours and then it's got like the duration. So that one back there, if I rode it, I would have got charged, but I can't because I don't have money in my WeChat pay. So I'm gonna just ride. Now. After all that effort, there's something wrong with it. Look, yeah, I just parked it back there. That was disappointing. I spent all that effort trying to find a bike and then that one was malfunctioned so I reported so so far when I've gone on bikes I've only used red packet ones and then you get like coins if you report um, damages and stuff because I can't set up WeChat pay without a Chinese bank account so I always have to go on a free bike and like you can log in and they give you coins and yeah if you go on a free one you, you get it free and then it like deducts money but not real money like the the kind of um, the charge like how much you would have been charged if it wasn't free go to there, Jinjiang, and then transfer to the line one. I just missed one, so I just wait for the next one. Should be like three minutes anyway. Oh, 
so I've made, I've made it probably just go around the shops today because it's going to be quite a warm day today and yeah and the museum I want to go to is still like another hour walk from Westlake so it's just past nine now now I can see I I'm already getting quite hot walking. I think I can take this on the pass. I'm going to go to Herfang Street. I should have brought more money, but plans changed today. I wasn't planning on going out. The grandpa was gonna like, if he asked me, I would ask him to take me to a stationery store. But now I came out on my own and I only bring like 70 something. Okay. I should be there in three minutes. Then I'm gonna sit down and eat my egg from breakfast. This morning the host boy's like, hey, that's she's egg, like his sister. I was like And then he asked his sister and says the sister said it wasn't her egg. Then I was trying to explain it, but then the grandpa was like, Oh, say it in the car. Don't say it now. But then of course I didn't go in the car with them, so Okay, I've made it to something. Don't know if this is the correct place, but it will do. It looks kind of cool. So, might try and come back here maybe another day and bring some more money so I can buy some stuff. But I'm going to find somewhere to eat my egg and then, um, yeah, eat my egg and and have a drink yeah and then I'll come back here oh, and contact the agency then I'll come back here soon to buy some souvenirs pretty cool for example Nanjing tea yeah so I'll probably definitely come back here maybe tomorrow or the day after I just need to find out what's happening with my Hong Kong flight and then I need to make sure the family pays me one more time before I leave and everything, yeah. And then I can spend a bit of money buying some souvenirs and stuff. Might be able to get a few little souvenirs today, like $10. Yeah, maybe a few, um, a few little things. I didn't bring my good camera today. These are so cute.
good way to get free lunch here is try all the samples in the shops at giving away free samples but I think I'll definitely come back on Friday and bring some more money and try some more stuff buy some stuff I just need to know my luggage allowance to Hong Kong hope I, hope I don't get drunk on that man I tasted some wine <laughs> one was very very strong let's go in here and try the samples <laughs> Nice little white HA here. So it is about 11.20 now, I'm having a break and then I'll probably try and find something cheap to eat for lunch, maybe under $10, I'll see, it might be possible. Anyway, I'll probably head back earlier today just because it's quite warm and I'm getting really hot and um, I'll try and come back maybe Thursday or Friday when it's cooler. Um, I'll tell you just when I was filming, when I just arrived, I just put down my camera and then all of a sudden this guy comes up and like, May you like calls me May you May you which means like beautiful person and I thought he was gonna ask me something because that's usually what they do they like May you swagger when they like uh, want to ask people questions I've realized that in China anyway and then I like looked at him and he's like and I turned around and kind of he like walks behind me and I turned around and he says it again and I look at him and he doesn't say anything and then he walks off and then he and I'll kind of like keep on looking over at him to see if he's still looking at me and then he was like mate I think he said it one more time and I was like and once he walked off I was like come on like what do you want and then another guy kept on staring at me and this guy was like a westerner I was like what is going on today creepy having a break gonna get something to eat That won't do because you have to sit down so I don't want that. Okay. Like, they have all these shops. I try a different level. I just want something quick to eat. Hopefully the agency hurries up and replies so I can know what's going on.
，漂亮。还有，这样就好。Now I am treating myself to an ice cream. Usually, when I buy things, I give them a note. So, like just now, I gave her a ten dollar note, and then she was like, "Do you have a one dollar?" Coin, so I gave her one dollar coin, so I gave her eleven dollars and she gave me five dollars back. Happened once before as well, she asked me for a coin. I usually just keep my one dollar coins for the metro because I don't know how to use other coins, but I know how to use one dollar coin. Yeah, hey, I got the cheapest ice cream I could find six dollars. There was like this uh, milk, um, boba milk. One a minion, one nine dollars. But I thought, save that for another day. About to go into this toy store called Hanley. How the heck do you get out of this place? <laughs> then how to get out of this place? I went to that place, pastry place in Suzhou. It's very famous. They have one in Hangzhou as well. Okay, I am on my way home now. I really need to get myself some good shoes. I mean, these Crocs are pretty good for walking in, but they're a bit tight. I think they shrunk a bit when I went to High Mountain because I left them in the sun. And now the top is like tight. The top can be quite tight. Plus, my toe is still not better. Not good. It's a lot of walking. Doesn't do me a lot of good. I mean, exercise, of course, but with a sore toe. That's why when I go to Shenzhen, I really want to、um, try and open a bank account, and then I can, because that way, if you have a bank account, it just makes things a lot easier using WeChat, Pay, and then I can hire any bike I see instead of having to find a red packet one. It just means any bike, use any. Bike, I see. I can hop on, and like I can buy stuff online and stuff like that. It just makes life a lot easier. Cause right now I've got like cash, and it's, I don't know what to do with it. Cause I have to carry it all with me to Hong Kong. Um, I just don't feel safe carrying around that much cash. Anyway, I just heard back from the agency. She said. She's been traveling, so she'll book the flights these two day, next two days for me, and then they're waiting for the confirmation still from the host dad, my my next family. So hopefully by Wednesday, I know, then I can organize stuff, and then 
I can go to the shops and buy some stuff. And yeah, almost out of here. I think that sounds really bad, but yeah. I know it sounds really bad, but when you've had a tough time like I have and been struggling with a lot of issues and you think someone's being nice to you and then they end up doing something quite horrible to you and everything, it's just hard. And like the girl, I thought, yeah, she's opening up to me, she let me talk. But then these past few days, she's kind of been off again. Maybe she's stressed out from school, you know, sometimes kids have issues. Sorry, do I have like ice cream or something? Um, you know, so you can't always take it out on yourself. But I've definitely learnt a lot and I'm thinking of doing maybe some live Q&A videos if you guys are interested. i still got a lot of videos to upload before this one so it'll probably come out like in a few weeks. Okay, I found a red packet bike. This is where I found one last time, along here. I think this is like a proper parking area because it's got the proper bike kind of racks. Okay, time to park. I don't know if I should park it here. Maybe here we'll do. I'll just make sure it's not on the road. Okay. I think that's a good distance. Like people can still go past. And then look. Hot. I'm like dying. I feel like I'm in Oz again. Hi guys, thanks for watching my vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I shall see you guys in my next au pair vlog in China. So thanks for watching. Bye.